Hey there, dudes. Well, I've spent hours researching remote control C4 and made a big guide from stashes to pretty much everything that you can see for actually. Prepare something to drink, get some snacks and let's go. So the basic things in a nutshell. We have four tests, three floor base. As you can set different frequencies for C4s, you can read with waves of groups with different C4s frequencies. This is really cool and extremely fast way, especially placing them on a mini and suddenly raid from the roof. You'll be somewhere in the core in a couple of minutes. Well, stashes. You can make a radio controlled mines with them. Just put C4 on stash and bury it. Everyone who is nearby dies even if he is elevated. But remember that uh, if you bury the stash before the C4 is armed, it will spawn on the surface then. You can bury stashes with a few C4s at the time. And thus if someone is so unlucky to build over it, you can blow up his base then. But here is the thing, you can see the green glow, which is betrays your mind at night. One more thing, the different frequencies on C4s destroy stashes of the other frequencies groups. When triggered, I mean, if they are close enough and they appear on the surface then. Splash distance is about 8 stashes, but I would say around 1 foundation. If you bury a stash next to the high wall, it won't damage it in some reasons, I don't know dudes. Wall textures are so broken in several places, so you can hide sneaky C4s and suddenly blow up them during the raid. One of these places are here behind a sheet of metal in this stone. And another on the other side of the wall in the stone on the top. And yes, they glow at night. It's so sad dudes. But behind the sheet of metal it's harder to detect. The wooden wall has also sneaky places in this wooden beam, but it still glows at night. And all of them can be picked up mostly. On the wooden gate I found only this point, on the top. It can be reached with twig if the building privilege allows you to get there. Okay, Wickles. Everyone places C4s on top of the module base, and it's visually okay during the day. But at night you can see them easily with this glow. So it sucks, and you don't need them at all. Leave C4s only on the sides, left or right, it doesn't matter. They are not visible during the day. They are well hidden and no glow at night at all. This works for all types of vehicles, as well as armor. Not visible during the day, but at night there is a glow. And that's what happens by the way if you will place C4 between armored modules. Okay, minis and clan pellets are so tricky thing. But I found a fairly sneaky spot on Mini, and I ride it onto a tweaked ramp and drop it back down. So then C4 placed perfectly into the left wheel. The clan heli is different. Get on the clan's heli propeller and drop C4 straight down in the middle. Then you'll get a lootable C4. This is the best I found on it, but yes, at night you can see some glow as well. Boats are quite funny things, dude. If you throw C4 close to the shore like this, then it's attached to the boat. Blowing up C4 you can only out of the water. Keep this in mind in your operations. There are also a smart way. <laughs> if you swim luckily into the fishing village on an oxygen balloon with a C4 in hand, you can hand on the stairs and drop C4s on spawning transport safely. But 
I think everyone will hear its sound. Anyway, you need a teammate to activate C4 and loot the victims. Keep in mind that it looks like C4's only ruins bot. I tried different points to place, I have always stayed alive dudes. And you will need to push passengers in the water then. In general, here is the thing. While sitting you can throw C4 at the bottom of the elevator. But the problem is that the damage doesn't pass. Neither on a trip, nor standing in it. But from this angle it goes well. Not always successfully for everyone. Close the elevator door, prevents damage while moving. At the same time while it's open too. If you throw C4 on the door and open it, well everything also difficult. The texture of concrete seems to be a capricious thing. Just close the door and place C4 in this spot. C4 works perfect. But the strange thing that it works not always. Actually it works really weird. The bottom of the lift mine also doesn't work. Even if you stand above it. And this is how everything works fine dudes. <laughs> we need to think about it for sure. Crates on oil rigs are an interesting thing. Just suggest to see how different sneaky places works and some of them are so broken dudes that we will place in a slightly different way and there is a contact. But my favorites are for sure these books right here. It's just the perfect ram and so dirty. And this chair is especially frightening me with the damage area, I didn't expect to be honest. Everything is said about the Bradley dudes. Uh, 3x radio controlled C4s is not enough for it. I tried to arrange them in different ways, under the tracks and in the middle and on the asphalt in the other places and so on. At least 4 C4s you need in any case and some explosive armor as well. The only thing you might need a new C4 for Bradley is to mine it and blow it up when someone will nearby. So then my favorite way to blow the Bradley is still drop C4s on it. Well thanks for watching dudes, I hope you learned something new and it will be useful for you. Take care and see you next time.